Sir, why is devolution so important? You have made an opinion uh, assessing the situation from 2005 until now. How, why is it important to, to have uh, devolved powers? The first thing is that um, the Treaty of Lisbon has uh, improved and strengthened uh, the tendency to, towards, uh, towards the decentralization and regionalization because of the fact that um, uh, strong regions and uh, strong municipalities are very important to implement uh, not only European politics, but uh, to strengthen the identity of the people um, within their homelands um, as an alternative to the, uh, I would say, centralization on the European level. So it is, it is very important for the European Union uh, and for the member states, for the national states. Um, more practical for the citizens? Uh, more practical for the citizens, um, I would say, for example, in, in Romania, we have the experience uh, that uh, only a, a small part of the possible money from the European Union is called because the, the, the regions and the municipalities are not uh, enough involved in European politics are not uh, e in enough experienced how to work out um, a good project. And so it is necessary that you have strong uh, regional and, uh, and local administrations uh, so they are able to, to call for all this, uh, this money. You know, I mean, in, in, in Romania, it's only 7%, I think, uh, which is, is called from the, from the European funds, and, and that's not good. Um, sir, and during this uh, economic down downturn in Europe, is devolution more important? Because in your opinion, you say that um, you noticed a tendency of uh, centralizing some powers. Yes. yes. Um, as I mentioned, the, the, the Lisbon Treaty um, strengthened this tendency. but. In uh, 2009, 2010, uh, when the, the, the crisis, economic crisis, uh, started, financial crisis, um, the, the national um, governments um, tried to centralize because of the argument, um, okay, the, the, the regional and the local level, they are too expensive. Um, they cannot um, fulfill their tasks. Uh, the reason was because they have not enough money. Because if you give to the regional or local level um, competences, you, you have to give them money to, to uh, implement these competences. Uh, but this was not the case. Uh, and then they said, okay, we have to take over uh, and to centralize all these, uh, com or partly, these competences. And this is the, 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 the contra uh, tendency, you know what I mean. Um, and um, and uh, so the, the Committee of the Regions is fighting against this because uh, we have the experience that uh, um, if the, the regional and local institutions have enough know-how and enough money, uh, they can uh, work much more nearer to the to the people, uh, to the inhabitants, to the, to the um, citizens, um, and uh, all in all, it is also uh, cheaper than on the central level. And uh, we have the experience that the, the central ministries don't know what is necessary on the local and the, and and on the on the regional level. So if, if, uh, if in, a, in a country there are plans for, for decentralization, um, take care of all these uh, ideas. Can we really speak about devolution of powers without a um, fiscal devolution? Yes. Uh, I think this is not possible. If you give uh, competences to the regional and local level, you have to give them uh, the opportunity to get money, either uh, as transfer from the national level, or they have the possibility to take uh, money from uh, directly from, from, from the people or whatever, taxes. Uh, uh, and we have studies that uh, um, 
the, the regional and the, the local institutions um, um, are more careful um, with, with the money if they take it by their own um, as if they uh, get it as transfer. Um, and speaking about money and um, thinking of the economic downturn, which were the challenges the regions had? It was harder for them to get the money to the uh, regional budgets? Mm -hmm. No, I mean, the, the tendency was that the national governments um, gave them competences to save money on the national level. And that cannot, uh, I mean, that, that's not possible. Um, we have some countries, uh, the national government gave the region uh, competences, but not enough money. The regions were not able to fulfill their tasks, and then they said, okay, look at them, they are not able. So we, we, we will take back uh, the competences. Uh, and uh, this, these are um, economic, um, economic uh, arguments against decentralization. This is the, the political background, you know, uh, because the national governments don't want really uh, the, 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 to strengthen the regions and, and the local uh, institutions. And um, with, with uh, economic arguments, they are for centralization. Um, and that's not good. Um, sir, you said um, uh, also in your opinion that um, regional authorities should have a legal framework um, enshrined even in, at the highest level in the constitution. Yes. Uh, uh, no, this, this, is, this is very important. Uh, you know, I am coming from, from Austria, um, a strongly federalized uh, state, uh, and uh, the, 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 the lender regions are um, based in the, in the Constitution. So you cannot change uh, easily the, 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 the framework. Um, in other countries, uh, the, the, the regions and the, the local uh, institutions are only based uh, on, on, on laws, you know, uh, and, and these laws can, can be changed uh, very easily. So, it, and this is not good because we have countries, uh, because of the economic situation, there is a, a decision of the parliament um, and, uh, and, uh, and the, the, the transfer of, of, of money uh, is decreased uh, 20, 30 percent and then they cannot work. So, uh, I mean, this is the difference. So, uh, the higher uh, the level is uh, for the framework, uh, in which the, the regions are based, the better it is. And what is very important, uh, the, the, the regional and the, the local authorities um, have to be uh, elected in, in, in democratical elections. So, uh, I mean, they are authorized by the people. This is very important. They are more accountable. Yes, more accountable, and they are stronger if they can say, OK, I am elected directly or indirectly by the, by the people. Um, in your opinion, um, what uh, mistakes should be avoided when, uh, when, local author when uh, national authorities are thinking uh, regionalization and decentralization, like in Romania? We have the examples of other former communist countries which already did uh, this process. Mm -hmm. So, which are the mistakes you've noticed and should be avoided, or, and which are the good practices we we should take? Well, my experience is that in in some of the uh, former communist countries, um, people are have have, have uh, some problems with with the regions because in former times, in communist times, the regional authorities were, um, you know, were from the party strong uh, representatives of the party and so they say okay we don't want but there is a difference between the, the historical situation and now so uh, I would say the most important thing is that you, you sh that uh, um, political uh, legitimized um, representatives should be um, installed on the regional and local level. This is very important. So uh, it's, it's not good to have something like a, a prefect because he is, is the representative of the, 
of the government, they should be the representatives of the people from the bottom. This is very, very important. Then the second thing, um, uh, there are some plans to, to, to merge uh, these, these political um, districts to uh, planning regions. Um, the background is uh, to get money from the funds from the European Union, you know, these statistical regions. Um, these statistical regions don't work really, you know, um, because they are not politically legitimized. Um, so you should have strong uh, political regions and municipalities um, built up on the on the background of the of the principle of subsidiarity. So whatever can be done on the lowest level should be done there, and only what they cannot fulfil should be given to the next level, and so on and so on. Um, and uh, what is very important is, uh, from the very beginning, that the, the regions and the municipalities are ready to cooperate. Transporter cooperation or within the country, you know, um, to get uh, synergies. Uh, this is, this is a, a very good argument against the, 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 the economic argument. Yeah? We are ready and uh, we install uh, cooperations. Uh, on the on the local and, and regional level, I think these are some ideas to give them to the responsible politicians in, in these countries. How important should be the um, ethnic criteria when redrawing the regions? You know that we have no criteria. Uh, no criteria. No. No, that's that's wrong. Absolutely wrong. If you if you uh, create regions. Don't look on the on the ethnic uh, situation. Even if the minority wants to be um, to have its own region, I, I think that that will not really work. If this is the only one criteria, why? Mm, I, I I think you have to look at the minority rights. Of course, that's okay but not in creating the, the regions. You should look at the historic background, uh, the geographic background, uh, and so on and so on. But not the only uh, criteria should be the ethnic. It could not work. You, you can see it in, in Bosnia-Herzegovina, for example. Uh, they have to overcome this uh, only ethnic uh, criteria and to work together. And so it, it is better that in one region are three or four uh, ethnic groups and they are ready and have to work together. Because then, you know, if, 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 if there is only a, an, an ethnic uh, region, um, the, you, you will never find a, co a real good cooperation with, with the other regions. Because they say, okay, we are only this this ethnic group, and we don't want to to have. Uh, they risk to uh, insulate themselves. Yes, that, that's the, the main problem. One last question, sir. You were mentioning the um, attraction of EU funds, and I would ask you, um, how do you see? Um, the programs, how should the programs be? At the regional level, like in Poland, uh, the regions are making their own program to attract EU money based on uh, knowing best what they uh, need, mm -hmm. or uh, as in uh, many other um, also f uh, former communist countries, I keep referring to them because Romania is similar yeah, yeah, to, okay. to them, and to have them at the uh, national level on uh, different issues, uh, transportation, environment, um, infrastructure, and so on. Mm -hmm. how, how do you see it, it would be fit? We are starting a new uh, budgetary framework next year, uh, and new EU money is coming to, to the countries. How should this framework of managing EU money should be, how, which is the best uh, idea in your opinion? First of all, um, we will look to the, to the national level. Um, I would say the most important thing is that the, the regional institutions and the local institutions um, have a good know-how how to, to implement uh, projects and, and work out projects. This is uh, very, very important to give them the, the know-how. 
to, to educate the, 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 the administration. Um, the second thing is that uh, I have the experience that in, in former communist countries, till today, um, the, the, the influence of the, of the um, responsible ministry to, to the funds and how to, to spread money of the funds is too intensive, too strong. Um, and it is too politically. Because I have the impression, impression that if there is a region from the same party like the, the, the government on the national level, they get easier and more money than a, a region with, uh, with a, a political situation where the, the, the opposition is stronger. And that's not good. It cannot work. Um, you, you have to have a neutral uh, uh, position, a neutral basis for, uh, for giving uh, the money from the, from the EU funds. This is, in my uh, opinion, it's, it's crucial because I can see it. If I come to Romania, Bulgaria or whatever, I see, uh, okay, a, a mayor who is from the governing party, he will get easier money than another. And that, that cannot work. For example, in Austria, uh, all these uh, uh, preparations and so on uh, are done by the, the lender, by the regions. And if this is a good project, they, they get the money. Uh, so the, the national government does not influence uh, spreading the money. You know what I mean. Um, on, the, on the European level, I hope that, uh, uh, that uh, bureaucracy um, will uh, be decreased, you know, in, in, in combination with, with, with the, the funds and, and the money from the funds. Because it's, sometimes it's so complicated that uh, uh, regions or cities say, OK, I, I don't use it, I don't try it, because it is too complicated for us. So both sides, you know, uh, on the one side to increase the know-how, on the national, regional, and local level, and on the other side, to decrease uh, the bureaucracy on the on the European level. Thank you so much, sir.